So today we are assembling Bo's short block for his 2002 WRX. This is a two liter and we already have the engine mounted to the stand or one case half and mounted to the stand. We got the other one on the table here and I'm going to start by putting the rod bearings in the rods. We have mainly H Tough series rods. and ping bearings to install rod bearings is pretty straightforward. So you got a groove in the rod and then you've got this little tab on the bearing. It actually locks the bearing in place when it's when you've got the cap on. So stick the tab down in there like so and then you're going to kind of just push the bearing in gently. It takes a little bit of force but shouldn't take an excessive amount and that's in. So with the rod cap, same procedure. Stick your tab in the groove. Kind of like, I kind of push it down a little bit. Push bearing in, like so. One thing that I noticed with Subaru rods versus the Manly rods is that on a Subaru, this little logo right here is what we call the Fuji Swish that faces forwards on a, a Subaru engine. So all of the rods would have the Fuji swish facing towards the front side of the motor. With a manly rod, there is nothing to indicate what faces forward or what faces backwards. Instructions also don't mention anything about which way they want them to face. So as far as I can tell, these rods are symmetrical besides the writing on them. So we're going to run with the Manly logo facing forward on all the rods. Yeah, we fucking record with an Android. Currently we're putting the rods onto the crank. Um, I've got two of the rods facing the right, two of them facing my left. That is because if you put them the other direction, you will not be able to get to the fasteners to be able to tighten them. Um, you can always spin them around later if you have to. So slide the rod through. I have it just resting on the table right now. And then I'm going to put this cap, slide the cap on. I'm just going to hand tighten fasteners in. We are torquing the rods. These use a bolt. T -t -t Today, Junior! ARP bolt instead of a stud like the stock rod uses. For our application, the torque spec is 60 foot pounds. The stock rods, I think, are 42 Newton meters. For this, I'm using a snap on 3 ace tech angle. This is not necessary, this is just what I own. You can do this with a click style and you'll be fine. Copyrighted. Mm. So now that we have the main bearings in, uh, we're ready to drop the crank in the right bank side.
off camera, I clean the other case half and put all the main bearings in. This case half is clean and the O-rings are in this half. We also put new seals on the case half bolts. So I'm about to put some sealer on it, put the other case half down on this side and then torque it to spec. Now that we have the two case half sealed up, uh, in our next video we'll set piston ring gaps and install pistons to complete the short block. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.